to Most Haunted, where this investigation is inspired by my brand new book, The Witches of Pendle. And where better to do it than in the shadow of Pendle Hill itself. And within that shadow is this ancient farmhouse, which allegedly is riddled with paranormal activity. The mere mention of Pendle Hill conjures up images of mystery, magic and, of course, the world's most famous witches. It was where the Pendle witches were arrested and later imprisoned before eventually meeting their gruesome deaths. For centuries, many believed this whole area to be cursed, still haunted by those poor, wretched women who met such a tragic end. Within the shadow of this legendary hill sits an imposing ancient stone building known as the Witch's Cottage. Although much of its past is shrouded in mystery, it's said to have been a courtroom where local trials would have taken place. Some believe it was a place of execution before becoming a home for many different families. With hundreds of years of history, this empty cottage is said to be full of paranormal activity. Some of the families that lived here experienced a plethora of frightening occurrences. Dark shadows, strange noises, screams and moans are said to permeate the very fabric of this building, along with poltergeist activity and a dark, menacing entity that does not like people in its home. Are these the tortured souls of those who lost their lives within these walls? Perhaps they are the old inhabitants refusing to leave the place they loved, or is there something much darker underneath, from a time before the house was built, still stalking the land? We have just one night to find out. This place is, as soon as you walk in, incredibly creepy. I mean, look at the front door. It's amazing, isn't it? I mean, that is an original front door. It's absolutely fantastic, and as soon as you walk in, the, Honestly, the hairs on the back of my neck have gone ding like this. <laughs> How did they go? Ding! But the carpet, that's enough to make you vomit, really, Well, isn't there's it? some dubious decor uh, tastes in here, but you can show the, the length of time the building's been in use, yes. you know, from that door and the juxtaposition of that 70s carpet. Yeah. You know, it's... Um, and when it's, you look at the window surrounds, I mean, they, they are, I mean, goodness me, hundreds of years old. Yeah. But what I love about this particular building uh, in this you know, estate is the fact that um, there is a connection to the Pendle Witches and the witch trials that took place in 1612. Allegedly, one of the witches um, had something to do with this land and in this area, maybe with the property, we're not quite sure yet. Mm. But it's absolutely fascinating to me. And as soon as I heard about this, I thought, wow, this brings back memories of when we investigated Pendle Hill many, many years ago. And I can you know, see it from here. We can see Pendle Hill from here. It's an incredible place. Now let's get back to this particular uh, location. So there's lots of activity. Allegedly it's haunted. Mm -hmm. um, um, many people have experienced things, heard things, witnessed things here, seen things. Um, and I know you know a little bit about it as well. Yeah, well, to start off, I'm aware that activity is a, yes. is a genuine phenomena. Still, ultimately, we don't really know what it is, but from what I understand, that over 20 people have said to have been uh, passed away in this building over the years, um, and 16 of which are still meant to reside here, if you're going to believe that it's uh, the spirits of dead people. Excellent. So that's what we like that's to hear. That's what I've heard. Let's go through into uh, this part of the building. Now, this is a huge room, and what I love about kitchens is if 
I mean, look at this fireplace. Look, look at the, the old stone archway. Like an ingle nook, Yes, isn't it? and you can see all these little, um, little holes built in there. Um, and of course, the family, you know, this, this place dates back oh, my 400, maybe even more years back. Yeah. So, of course, families would have sat around here, mm -hmm. talked about what that happened in their day and so on. And I find that kitchens in haunted locations are particularly active. And it's a bit like staircases, which we'll come on to in a, in a little while. It's the hub of the family home. Isn't exactly it? that. So activity, people talking, perhaps, you know, we'll have um, memory hauntings, stone tape theory, voices, that sort of thing. I mean, I haven't looked in the cupboards yet. <laughs> I don't um, think you want to look in the cupboards in furnace. But, it, but, you know, the kitchens that we've done in the past when there has been implements around, you mm. know, knives and so on, pots and pans, haven't we found that they often like to move on their own? They do. Uh, if, as you're saying, it's always been the hub of a household. So if there's going to be energy, because we know that's what we're dealing with, some sort of energy, ultimately what it is, we're not sure. But if there's going to be a place that's probably the most haunted building, uh, most haunted uh, location in this building, yeah. it's probably this, this, this room here. Well, we'll see. And yet we can say that. And yet when we investigate it later on, <laughs> probably nothing happens, which I hope not. <laughs> now, let's go to... I mean, how many locations have we done in most haunted 20 years? The, the staircase. Yes, There's let's go always that. a haunted staircase. Here it is. Right. Now, I have a theory about staircases in haunted locations, and you've heard this many times before. Go on. Again, a bit like the kitchen. Activity in life, people going up and down, up and down. I mean, how many haunted locations have you been to where someone has fallen to their death? been pushed to their death. Usually in a stately home where there's been a maid who's been pushed exactly, to death. Exactly, but like this isn't a stately home. No. So tell me a little bit about the staircase and coming up here onto the landing, what happens? Uh, a previous owner of the property has said that in the hallway area, if you leave stuff around, then it gets moved about. So I'll be inclined to maybe shove a, a camera in here or a GoPro or something like that and place something down like a trigger object and see if that gets moved later on in, in the uh, investigation today. But um, also, a, a little boy has been seen as well. So it could be a figment of the imagination, you know, when you, you've got an overactive mind, or it really is truly um, a haunted uh, paranormal experience. I mean, this place has an incredible atmosphere, doesn't it? It really does. Partly psychological, though, because of where we are, and we know the history of the location that we're at. Maybe so for you, but for me, as soon as I walked in, as you know, the hairs went on the back of my neck. But also I'm very excited because of this connection with the Pendle Witches. Of course. And of course, with my, my new book, The Ghost Hunter Chronicles, um, and it's uh, The Witches of Pendle, which is the latest one to come out, of course, I had to do a lot of research about The Witches of Pendle. And it really absolutely blew my mind when we found out that this place had a connection yeah. uh, to those trials. And there's a young lady called Janet Preston. She was accused of witchcraft and, and murdering a gentleman, a landowner that lived uh, on the estate. And she, yes, mm -hmm. and she was uh, accused and she was uh, hanged in York. Um, but she was one of the women, and one of the, you know, there were men and women, at Malkin's Tower, which was where um, Judge Noel, or the prosecutor Noel, actually walked in and found them all together, allegedly plotting murder and scheming to throw, to throw the government down. But in those days, they didn't need any evidence. No, it was of all course hearsay. not, yes. Yeah. So, of course, they were all, that's it, off you go. Some of them went to, well, two of them went to York, and the others were at Lancaster Castle. Just the most hideous story amazing story very very sad and dark times back very, then as well very yeah. dark times yeah so this place for me is really exciting you know because you really get your teeth into the pendle which is their story and of course the book so and when i was writing the book oh i was terrified <laughs> nightmares so this is all coming true for me to yeah. be here bringing it's history great. back to life again yeah, isn't it absolutely ultimately. i mean wouldn't it be wonderful if we got the ghost of janet preston through well, she can try a ouija board yes yes we're not seeing. Now I can also say, whilst we're talking, we're getting knocking. Yeah, I just heard it now. Let's just. It's very quiet, but it's there. It sounds like it's in the wall behind you. It sounds like it's over there to me. That's strange. Again, every time we do this, it sounds like it's coming from different places. Now, allegedly, if we look at the beams that, that go across the ceiling. Hang on. People allegedly were hanged um, from that beam. And you can see where there are two sort of uh, U shapes in the top of the beam. Mm. Whether that's true or not, we don't know. We're just going off sort of 
hearsay, aren't they? I really? imagine that hangings would have taken place in this particular room because if there was a hanging to be done, then it would have been done outside where people could watch. Yes, that's so. true. But then there were cases of, for instance, the Skiridin in Wales, where allegedly it happened there as well. There was a beam inside the pub where allegedly people were hanged. So that did happen. Mm. And of course, this wall wouldn't have been here. It actually, the beam continues uh, around, you know, through the other side of the room. So we don't know. And the knocking is still going on. Can I just ask, hello there, um, were there any hangings that took place here? Two for yes, one for no. That's a continuous. Now, that's potentially a lot of spirits all answering the same question, yeah. if that's what it is. Yeah, be very interesting. I am so excited about you know, the light going, us being here. There are oh, literally five of us yeah. for our investigation team, and I love that because it's so small. Now, for the record, can I suggest that one of the lads, Carl or Greg, goes next door because of that knocking, just to show that there's no one uh, in there doing it, because, you know, we don't want to, you know, give the impression that there's someone still around doing that. Knocking on the other side. And, and the fact that, you know, how blasé we were, whilst that was going on. It's because we're so used to it. Yeah. You know, not only are we investigating um, locations privately, we're also investigating at weekends from a sorted experience. So we're doing it week in, week out. So we're used to it, aren't we? Mm. Um, but the thing is, what I get very frustrated about is it's never as loud when people are watching at home as we're hearing it exactly with our that. ears. Yeah. Yeah. So also, EVP I'm thinking as well. Yeah, yeah. we should uh, leave the computer here for a while at some point this evening and yeah. uh, see if we get any uh, voices captured on there. I would love that. I haven't, I haven't had a great EVP for a long time. No, it would so, be really good, yeah, wouldn't it? And nice. the fact that we've got the knocking, we know that this place is definitely active. Mm. And I know you, you're like, we don't know if it's the spirits of dead people, we don't know what it is. Well, I, I do know it's something, you know. I, yeah. I, I'll, I'll, I will, you know, confess to the fact that since doing Monks Haunted, it's changed my world view yes. on, on the fact that there's more to this world than we really genuinely give credit for. Mm -hmm. um, but still, what is it? The, the nuts and bolts of it all. Yes. How is it doing it? Why yeah. is it doing it? it Ultimately, who is behind it, if anything? And, and it, it's exciting, but again, more questions than answers, yeah. isn't it? I think Carl's already started his own <laughs> investigation. I'm still here with the tapping, but it sounds to me like it's coming from the front in that thing. Can like you imagine? The Maybe they're horrific. actually saying to us, hey, someone was hanged from here. Many people were hanged from here. You know, who knows? Hopefully we'll find out later on. Right, should we go and find Carl? And, yep. and, 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 and let's wait for the light to go down. Are you all right, Carl? I'm just doing the last bit. Oh, he's doing his uh, oh, we'll night vision. Checks no one else around. Just watch your head on those nails. Night vision's on. Okay, that's just a small room in there. Now, okay. I have done, I've just done a full yeah. run. I've been, everyone in here, which I'll probably put in the corner to start with, <laughs> It's a run of everything. Well, I've even shown right. that room there, yeah. which Perfect. you wouldn't. Yeah, that's there's a room between the two rooms that yeah. you heard the and, knocking. And that's the crazy because if it was going to be anybody, they would have been in this room, right next to where we were. And so there's no one there. Yeah. No. And the tapping was still going on when you came out. Oh, was it? Yeah. Brilliant. Well, I was just going to say yes. There it is again. Marvellous. I can't wait. I was just saying, I can't wait for it to get dark. Because then, and this is what happens. When we're here in the daytime, we're sort of quite happy and chatty and, oh, you know, can you hear that knocking? That's great. This place is in the middle of absolutely nowhere. I mean, we are, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be incredibly creepy. And the smile is going to be wiped off my face. The mood's going to change, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. There's the mist rolling in off Pendle Hill itself, which you can see from the windows here. I can tell you now, this is going to be a very, very frightening investigation. Come see. Yes, I think we're going to need more than that, love. As soon as darkness fell, we apprehensively started our investigation. Well, here we are inside of what I'm now calling the witch's cottage. Um, the atmosphere is chilling. We are in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> overlooked by Pendle Hill. Um, we know that one of the alleged Pendle witches, Janet Preston, who was actually hanged in York for allegedly 
committing murder using witchcraft. Mm. Now, there is some sort of connection, as I said before, with her on the land, around the land, or in this property. And so here we are, in this, it, what I'm calling the witch's cottage, we've set up already a Ouija board, um, we've got some cat balls at the top, we've got the EMF meter there, we've actually set up at the top of the stairs, um, which if Carl, you can get a shot now, it's of a children's bike and uh, a little toy that actually just uh, lights up if it's moved yeah. and a sensor as well, like an alarm, so if anything, go, if anything moves near it, the alarm will go off. The sensor is with the step ladders up there. Oh, oh it and, is? And there's a GoPro pointing at the child's bicycle. Fantastic. So everything's covered. The reason why we put everything at the top of the landing is because when objects are left on the top of the landing, they seem to disappear uh, and be moved to a different place. So we thought a child's bike was a, a, a good object to place up there because the ghost of a little boy has been seen here. Also the ghost of a gentleman called David um, is associated with this house. I think he was one of the many, many families that lived here over the years. And we've got to remember that this property is well over 400 years old. Mm -hmm. There have been many, many families that have lived here. So here we are, just the five of us in the middle of nowhere in Pendle. Uh, and Carl, are you I'm coming just, back I, down? I'm being quiet up here because as you were speaking, I didn't want to interrupt you. But there's footsteps up here. I could hear tapping. Let's go. And your K2 meter's been going this. off as yeah. well. So yep. if, you listen, if you listen, if you want to stay down there and just listen to see... Come to the bottom of the stairs, darling. Just listen. Is there a little boy here? Yes, jumping. Let's go. Hello. Hello, little boy. Hello, sweetheart. We bought you a little present. Do you like the bike and the ball? Brilliant. Well, if you want to play with that. you want to play with the bike and the ball then it's for you you do what you want to do with it so if you want to move it that's great what was that, that was what in the kitchen. there was a noise in the kitchen noise in the kitchen, yeah, the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, i'll come down with you guys okay what did you hear well, I heard back door tap. it was more of a thump i think ah! whoa, whoa yes. fuck off what the hell what the fuck? Sorry. God, that door, right. that door that has literally just gone like fell. that. Well, I've got my camera pointing right at it. Stuart was about three foot in front of it, at where, not that far from where he is now, and that's just hit the... Did you catch it on camera? I've caught it coming down on camera. Fantastic. Oh. It was more of a thump, I think. Ah! Whoa. Whoa. Shit. It was more of a thump, I think. Oh, oh, Thanks for that. Well, I must have done because I saw it through my eyes and I was just... Oh, <laughs> Everyone all right? Did it hit anyone? You missed. You missed. Would that... Would the wind have got... No, no, no well, There's way. no wind in here, is there? No way. No. No what way. you've got to remember, Stuart, is oh, this, no. this will have been up there for... A long time. I mean, certainly it's been up there all day for us, but you, you've got to think that that's going to have been there for months, if not a year. And it's not, yeah. It's, I mean, look. I mean, I've got to push that quite, yeah, for that to go. That's a heavy door. Should we? Well, there's no way we can put it, can we? I suppose we could lay it flat on the ground. Well, Do you well, want to well, leave let, it like let, that? Let's just put more of an angle on that, then, yeah. shall we? So. I just don't want anybody else to get hurt by that. that, that that's, not gonna, that's not going to come that, over that now. That could have scraped the whole, the whole side of your body if that had hit him. Did it miss you, Stu? I, I didn't know anything about it until I heard the bang. That's yeah. when I turned around. Yeah, yeah. Stu yeah. was in his doorway. Yeah. That was lucky. That was lucky. You missed, you shit shot. <laughs> Try harder. All right, Stu. I'm just as shaken up as everyone else. Isn't it funny though, because we had that clicky noise that we're not brought us to come past that door to come in here. 
that's no, that very and, interesting. And, and yeah, that yeah. comes over. Yeah, that's a bit malevolent, isn't it? A trap. It laid, could have laid a trap it for did. you. It, you're right. It laid a trap. As Glenn was saying, if it's made a noise to get everyone into the kitchen, yeah. you've walked into the kitchen and it's just, just, oh, course, it yeah. could be after you. It's just made a noise. Whether it's settling or not, it has just made a noise. It's just gone. Mm. I heard good, Did good, you hear good, it? Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I'm fine with it going after Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that was the case then? Yes, let's I do. I think that there. was a good idea. That Glenn... Well, let's go back in there. Right, let me put this on the fireplace. Well, well I, I think I'm going past, though, because that noise was just a draw past that it door. It was. It so. was. We think it was. Yeah, but if anything, I don't... Well, the thing is, Stuart, the reason I wanted to be here was you've just proven it can't be you walking past it because you've just naturally walked past it and it hasn't moved. No. So it can't be you walking past it. Yeah. Or, or everyone walking past it. It's mm -hmm. can't be. Get I'll turn this down. Have we done any falling out yet? Well, we started. Did we? Nothing really happened, did it? Oh, I was talking to the little boy. You were talking to the little yeah. boy on the stairs. Right, yeah. And then we heard the noise through here. To be honest, when I heard that bang, 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 I thought it was the bike coming down the stairs. Did we establish what that noise was? Yeah. No. No. It's, it sounded like quite a sizable thump to me. Did it? I Less. Think it, to me, it didn't sound like a massive thump. It just sounded like a tap. It'd be constant, right. wouldn't it, with the wind now? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Sounded like there's sound like something sound moving out there, like yeah. something. Do you know what it sounded like? That bloody door. Yeah, that moving door. on the carpet. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Well, it's kind of wedged in now. Isn't I know, it? but that's the uh, just the second time I've I heard that noise. Yeah. I don't think it matters if it's wedged in or not. To be honest. I agree. Well, no. I, yeah. Yeah. Is it worth you taking a picture on your phone with that? Right. right. Well, I'll film here. If you stay in the doorway, and if anything happens, I'll see it. I have a feeling of absolute dread in this place. Oh, absolute dread. I'll take a, put the torch on for you now. You okay? Yeah, it, you know, it's one of those things you feel like you want to be comfortable. Uh, you, want, you want to leave the place. I keep thinking about, you'll be home soon. You'll be home soon and you'll be having a cup of tea and a hot cross bun. <laughs> and thinking of nice, yeah, lovely things. things. That's the worst thing to think. Making plans. No, you're dead right about that. Yeah. 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 It is, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. Who's who's outside? I'm here. Is anyone outside? What? Have you seen Someone it? has just looked into this window. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off, Carl. I've seen a, f a face right in this window. Oh. <gasps> Man? Woman? What? I couldn't tell you. It was is a that... face. It was somebody old. Oh, my God. Is it worth me going out there the now and just the doing that? Oh, go wow, and have a look. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, do you want me to put my face in the window? Yeah, go and have a look. Yeah, just to see how... There's nobody out here, Carl. There's no, there's no human or animal out there. Right, let me get no, this no, on no, camera. No, I'm going to put my face so on the window now. That's soon out, yeah, you can see. So there's no... That's true. Right, you can see Stuart, yeah. so there's there's no one else out there. Yeah, there was no one here. Oh, it's great, no one by the gate. The right, gate's not been closed. Put his face by the window. Oh, that's true. What's the way? Sorry, I can't see him on camera. I'm going to head back in. I got out there pretty quick and there was no one there. The gate's not been touched. Where's Stuart? He's there. Is he? Yeah. No, it was lighter. It was in this window here. Can you go to the next window, Stu? It's really difficult to oh, get in there. Oh, no, that's it. Stay there, Stu. Look at that, Yvette. That's what I saw. Oh That's my god! It was lower. Oh, it wasn't as tall as Stuart, but it was definitely there. Could it have been a child? Well, you can see the thermal image is also picking up an old man. Thought, well, a woman, maybe. Picking up my reflection, but it's also picking up Stuart. Stuart. Okay, so there's definitely nobody else out there. Yeah. Come here, Stu! Sorry. What? Did you just touch me? No, I'm, I'm literally sort of two, three feet away from you. You are? I can't reach you. You're all right, Carl. You're really nervous. I don't like this place. I really don't like this place. They're, 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 I'm sorry, I know people lived in here, but they must have felt so unwelcome. 
I don't know what it is. That this place, I, I feel like I'm being watched all the place. I feel like I know we've got, it's the witch's cottage because of its connection with Pendle Hill now, but to me, we're calling it a hell house. I mean, I feel this is negative, it's horrible. Something's just touched me. It wasn't Greg, and obviously, you know, Greg's got his shot, so it, you'd see. I've seen something in that window. You, 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 there's even the, the taps on the top of the stairs that's, that seemed like it was a little kid. Mm. It's just for me, even though it's a kid, it was. In my mind, it heard going, this is sinister, this is horrible, this is something else, this is something pretending. And I, I, I don't know. You're not happy? Not at all. The fact that you could possibly, and I believe you, see the ghost. I, I, without, I, with, oh, so with, without a doubt you're about to say, so therefore you've seen a ghost. Yeah, I, I've seen, when Stuart put his face, weirdly enough, not at the middle window, when Stuart went to the window I saw him, which was a second to the end, mm. that's, it was exactly like that, just lower, smaller and and I would have said older because there were more shadows to the face. You describe the face, what kind of face no, it was. Face. Was it like a, a beard moustache or anything like that? Was it no, I didn't, I, I couldn't see a beard, on, it was just an old haggard face. It could be a man, it could be a woman. Okay. Okay. I don't like it, it's horrible. Let's move try and, and on top of that, that bloody door decided to try and score okay. Stuart. Come on, let's move into a It's unusual room. for you not to be yeah. Up for a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel. What did anyone hear that? What? Well, I heard Greg laugh. No. Did you just hear? Uh, no. It wasn't Greg laughing. I thought it was you. No. What was it before or after his laugh? It was Greg laughing, and I heard a. Uh, it was after that. Like like a. Uh, like a. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel. What did anyone hear that? What? Well, <laughs> I just feel. What did anyone hear that? What? Well, <laughs> I just feel. What, did anyone hear that? What? Are you copying us? Can Carl keep hearing you? Can you do it again? What have you got for your next trick? What else is up your sleeve? There's something nasty here, there really is, I'm sorry. It's right, come on Carl, man up. You're waiting, aren't you? Man up, let's do this. Sure, you. Where do you want to go now? Do you want to go upstairs? Should we go upstairs? I'm going to go through that bottom left of that door frame, onto the right there. Got it, thank you. It's going back 50 years now, aren't we, but with, with the decor. Yeah. I Cigarette smoke. Yeah, I've just been smelling that. Yes. Mm. Cigarette cigar. I wonder if people really were hanged here. I'd love to know. I, fi I find it difficult to... Reconcile that as a possibility. It just seems a strange thing for them to do in here, but that doesn't mean they didn't do it. Because mm -hmm. remember, way, way, way back, landowners had their own way of dealing. Yeah. I mean, this was a court by all accounts. Mm -hmm. This was a. They did yeah, I believe it was possible, definitely. I think, as you were saying earlier, Yvette, you've got the modern walls here at the moment which just make it look weird but when you look at this that's that's a beam to like a barn it is yeah and so take all of this out Listen. that's behind you that's Stuart. i'm just gonna move my hands out because i was just resting yeah it's, it's, not, like it's, in the back, so it's not me were you hanged here i don't know i think wow so you were how many of you are hanged here How many of you are hanged here, please? Seven. Well, that, that goes against what I thought earlier in the daytime when I didn't think hangings would have taken place inside here. I still don't think that. Because, you know, the public would have seen it outside. Not really. But they did do that. They, yeah. did it at, they did it at the um, skewing in. Yeah, but the things were skewered in, that they would have people standing watching, wouldn't they? Yeah. 
were here. This day. I mean, the idea of hanging in those days was it was a spectacle. It was to show everyone else pay your debts yeah. or don't do the crime. Mm -hmm. So, and that's why I find it. Unless, of course, you're thinking of this as being completely empty, mm -hmm. not even any flaws in it, being a completely open. That's what I was thinking. Because then people would have stood on the ground floor. Well, that's not awesome. enough. Just like a big open barn yeah. space, wasn't it? Was this a big open space when you were hanged? It's moved. Yes. It's over there now. I feel, I feel it here. See, I'm viewing it from left, 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 to oh, really? where it's left. Right. I'm feeling it on a foot. On your foot? Mm -hmm. So, seven people were hanged here. Okay. Can I also ask, I need to ask, do you know of or is Janet Preston here? Oh my God. Are you Janet Preston? Did you not hear that? No. What? There was like something on the other side of that wall going boom, 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 boom. About three or four, like. Like that, exactly like that. Right? Really? Stu, just run next door and see if you can see anything. Watch out for the GoPro on your left as you go in. Is that a door? Now that must have been the door at some point. Oh, no, yeah. there's no movement, there's nothing. No one in there, in no? Here. That was a door then. Or a cupboard and they've just boarded it up. Mm. Yeah. Everything's fine in there. Right, so we've just been told that Janet Preston is with us. Two feet, no, two knocks, two yes. Janet, is it true? Did you murder Lister? Ask if she was hanged or executed. Were you hanged, Janet? Were you hanged for murdering Lister? Did you use witchcraft? Yes. So you were a witch? Yes. Are you still a witch? I've gone very cold. Are I've you a, are you a good witch? <coughs> I've got goosebumps all over me. I've gone really, really cold. You alright? Yeah. Were you a good witch? Yeah. What made you, <coughs> what made you do what you did? Was it anger? Jealousy? Um, what else could it be? Did you want more out of... Was it revenge? Life? Yeah. No. Ask that again, Greg. Was it revenge? No. No. Wasn't she hanged in York? Yes. Yeah. So why would she be here? She would have been... She was from the area. She was from the area. Where she was originally from was in Yorkshire. It's not now. It was in Yorkshire yeah. at the time. Right. And uh, allegedly, according to the records, is this right, Janet? In 1612, you were with old Demdike. Oh my God, yes. Did Malkin's Tower mean something to you? Oh God. Is it close to this building? That's very interesting. It, did you, is that where you stopped being a good witch? Was Old Demdike part of that? Yes. Fucking hell. Oh my God. Do you mean as harm? Yes. Did you make the door move downstairs? Yes. Did you try to lure any of us to be hurt? Or just one of us, that's what I want to know. So was, did you mean to hurt just Stuart? No. 
You mean to hurt Yvette? Glenn? Greg? Myself? So it could have been anyone. You just wanted to hurt. Do you still do spells now? Yes. This is what's starting to freak me out with this. Come on. I know there are people who don't believe in spells and yeah. stuff. I never used to. I do. There's a certain, I won't go into it, but this, we tried something and bugger me at work, not once but twice. Really? You are you allowed to elaborate or not? But you pay the consequences for it. Right. And it wasn't anything nasty, right. but it, um, it worked. And so for me, I do believe they work. And I work because, I think they work because of the power of your thought making them work. Yes. And She's agreeing with you. Like, uh, and it, what worries me is if she still doesn't, if she doesn't want us here, what's she going to do? Do you want us to leave? No. You are going to enjoy this, aren't you? Yeah. Are you not happy that you're able to communicate with somebody for after all this time? You're not happy. Would you want us to... This lady next to me is called Yvette. Hello. Would you like her to join you? Yeah. Would you want revenge for those who, who, who executed you? What about Noel? No. Noel was basically, he was the one that rounded them up. Ah, oh, right, the witch fucker. The witch mora, yeah. What about Bromley? was the judge. Okay. I think, I'm not, did he go to York? I'm not sure um, with that because she was, she was executed in a different place. Yeah. The rest of the Pendle were, well, well, no. may have been if he was a judge of the assizes. Maybe so, so the yeah. Would have might have gone around, yeah. yeah. Do, you know, do you not know that they will have already died? No. Time has moved on. No. It has. Did you grab their souls? I don't know what I thought. So I just thought it is. That's very... Something's talking to you, Carl. You've yeah. had voices in your ear, people yeah. touching yeah. you. Yeah. How weird is that? This is very strange, this, Janet. Because what we're coming out with now sounds very... And I know this sounds like a big promotion and it's not meant to be. But it sounds like... It's almost like you put the idea of the book that I've just written in my head. Don't be silly. Mm. Hang on. Are you just saying this? Are you just trying to... Are you, are you trying to con us? She's not going to say... Do you just want a percentage, Janet? <laughs> <laughs> this is weird because in my book, old Demdike wants revenge for what happened to her. There's two... So she takes... Here. She takes and keeps the souls of the other witches and uses them to bring hell down on relations of Noel, Bromley, all the people that accuse them. Have you, are you in contact with the souls of the other witches? No. Okay. Have they moved on? No. Are they still present in Pendle? Janet, did you trap them somewhere? Good question, Greg. Yes. Mm. Oh, you ask, because I can't. <laughs> it's just a bit too weird. Yeah, the thing is that, that, there's, that I think there's this thing that she's, she's grabbed the souls of these people. If she has, how can she do that? Does that mean one person who is, let's say a witch, mm. then there are lots of witches here today, good witches and do good things, there are also witches who do bad things. Does that mean when they go, they have more power than the positive thought of good to grab a soul that doesn't want to be grabbed from, a, from out of their environment? Do you know what I mean? Because so, normally, if you died here, you're here. But if you died 
you know, as a judge probably would in a, in, a, in a manor house in somewhere else. How can you grab him and bring? Is it is who are the judges you said? The, the names. What's the name of the other guy? No. Is no one with you here? Is no one here? Do you know, can I ask you, was it your face that Carl saw in the window downstairs? Yes. Okay. Oh my god. You're an ugly cow. Right, okay. Shall we go and do something? I feel that. Are you going to put, can you put a spell on us? You go fuck yourself. <laughs> I really mean it. You're dead. You have you have not the right to take other souls. Who did you have your pact with when you went bad, when you went evil? Was it with the darkness? Yeah. Was it with the dark? What would you call them in those days? The devil. The devil. The, devil? Mm -hmm. the Elsie Bob. Were you with? Would you pack with the devil? Yes. Okay. Now. Well, I'll punch him on the nose and all if he wants to pop along. Shall we go downstairs? I actually would be scared shitless if the devil himself turned up here. <laughs> it's all brave when he's not here. I'm sure he's a bit too busy to pop here. Okay. The knocking is fantastic, Janet. Thank you very much for talking to us and revealing some of your secrets. But perhaps. You could do something else for us. Talk to us on talk the Ouija board. Talk to us on the Ouija board. Or talk to us using your voice. Slam a door. Throw something. Do something to one of us. Please. We really want to know that you are... Well, we know you're here, but we would like to see more evidence. If you can. Should we head downstairs? Yeah, let's head downstairs. Come on. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Did you just make that noise, Janet? Oh my god. It was a it was a awful. Okay. Well do it again so everybody else can hear. Push Greg down the stairs. <laughs> Thanks for that. That's a one for the team. I'm absolutely drained. This place is sucking everything out of me. I don't want to be sucked out. <laughs> I made it. Yay! Okay. Did you want to split up? Yeah. Huh? Did you want to split up? No, <laughs> what I want to do is go home. You look exhausted. I am absolutely. This what, do place. You, what do you fancy doing, guys? Let's just talk about this now. Ouija boards, yeah, it'd be rude not to. Do you <laughs> Right. I don't think do that. Then? Yes, I did. What? Uh, what? Yeah, not. What's that? Um, I, I don't think the likes of Janet and any such What's of any of ours will be able to read. No. So if anything supposedly comes through on here, it's not going to be them. It's going to be someone mm. who's more recent. Well, that's okay too. Yeah. Glenn, can you move to your left? Because I'll set this camera up on here. Need to move the board along a bit further? No, it's all good there. Yeah? Yeah. Gosh, that's heavy. That's not even sliding. Easy to move that one. Can you get a close up of the board, Stu, with the words? Yeah. And I've got a wide shot of everyone. No, no, you sure? Yeah, you're right. I don't know if that's a good thing to use. I'll have to get this side. Stuart, you grab that camera and you can get the video. No, I'm, I'm good. You sure? Yeah, 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 yeah.
What have you got the wide on that one there? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So you get the close up of any yeah. words. Yeah. Let me see. Do you want yeah. a touch? Do you want my red light on? No, no I'm, I'm all right. I'm, I'm doing fine. that with it. Yeah, yeah, perfect. What, what was hearing? that? I was about two, like, I wouldn't say, what, well, bangs, but they were like footsteps. Above us? Yeah. Janet, are you going to come and join us? Come and join us on the Ouija board. It won't be Janet. What makes you say that? They won't be able to read. Who didn't know that? Not, not, not English, but Bad. modern English. Bad. No, no. It was. It could have been the wind or the rain. There was a, like a tapping through there. Oh, so I just moved my yeah. heels on that. Whoever's here with us now, can you move the glass on the board? Oh, I know what it is. It's the table creaking underneath already. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Straight away. Whoever you are, who's with us, whoever's with us, can you move the glass? I'm sorry, my stomach. Can you move the glass, please? Can you hear it? Yeah, I can. Can I you hear, hear it, it now? Yeah. That's what I was hearing. It's the board on the table. Move the glass for us, please. Come towards us, move the glass. Did that just... I took my finger off. No, no, it, it's like yeah, it moved like on it its own. Yeah, but that's why I took my finger yeah. off. Yeah. Come on, move the glass. Use our energies. It's like it's... Oh my God. It's like rocking almost. Mm. It's like something's underneath it. Did you not hear that? Yeah. Can you put the camera really close to get the sound of what we're hearing? I can hear it from over here. It's can like you? A, yeah. Like glass. Yeah, again. there you go. Listen. Glass. Shh. Is it the glass? Or is it the Ouija board on the table? Is it the, the it's the glass. You can feel, I can feel it moving. Come on. Push it to a letter, any letter, just to show that you're here. <gasps> I don't think this glass is good on this surface. No. It's sticky. Yeah. Just give it one big push across the table. It's jumping. Yeah. Move it in any direction. Uh, I don't, I don't get a planchette because I just think the glasses. Have you got a planchette? Yeah. Oh, fair. Just move the pointed end here, just to the letters. Just move the pointed end here to the letters. Can you do that? Move the pointed end. Come on. See that noise has stopped now. Mm. So it was the glass. Come on. There you go, it's going. Maybe it's my energy that's taken it. No. no. If anything, I would have thought I would have improved it. Yeah. Come on. It moved when my finger came off of it. Let me see, maybe I'm a bit drained. Oh no, there you go. Come on, use our energies now. Use our energies. Use our energies, let us know that you're here. Come on. Come on. Just a first name, let us know who's here. Anybody, anybody in this house, let us know who you are. 
Move the planchette and point at letters. Yeah, that's moving with both your fingers yeah. upside yeah. down. Can you please just move the planchette and point to the letters to spell out your name? Can you do that? Anybody at all that's associated with this house or perhaps associated with somebody here in this room? Can you do that, please? So, so tiny. Come on, can you move it more vigorously, please? Come on. You just said another really light thud up the Did top Did you? There. Really light. I'm hearing noises from in here. Are you? Every now and then, yeah. It's not the wind. There's nothing coming from this, is there? It's no. so quiet. Let's have a quick look in here. Should we split up? Yeah. Oh, that's a really good idea. Well, why don't we split up? <laughs> Yes, it's usually the other way around. Me saying let's split up and you going, oh, no. what's going on? I heard that sigh on the stairs. That was a real proper sigh. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but can you... What we've just been doing upstairs, we've come down here, and I know I'm a little bit on edge and I'm, a, I'm just drained, but we've been upstairs, we've come down here, but before we... We've been talking to a, a witch mm. who doesn't like us, doesn't want us here, and potentially is going to put a spell on us. Mm. Janet or anybody else in this house, there's a bike at the top of the stairs. What was that tip? That was mine. Oh. There's a bike at the top of the stairs. Can somebody push that bike down the stairs? Oh, Here it is. Tapping banging. in there. Come on now. Come on now, scare the shit out of us. Whoever's here, come on. We need to know that you're here. Definitely 100%. Put your money where your mouth is and throw that bloody bike down the stairs. There's tapping going on in there. I can yeah. hear it from in here, yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Let's not mess around anymore. I think you're all mouth and no trousers. Well... Saying that, they didn't really crush Stuart's head to death, did they, really? What was she, okay, shall we split up then? Yeah. Where do you want to go? Well, you and Stuart always get good stuff. Right. So why don't you and Stuart go upstairs? Okay. Um, and the rest of us will stay down here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go into the Room of Doom? The one yeah. with the round mirror. And it sort of reminds oh, okay. me a little bit of East Drive. With the what mirror? The round mirror. mirror in the white room with the white wallpaper. Right, let's go up there then. Okay, yeah. good luck. The one with, where the door is by the step ladders. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, which leaves us. Watch out for the GoPro. I don't like this house. No. <coughs> How are you feeling? Drained. Physically drained. It's there on the floor. That's it. Is there anybody here in this house? Come on now. Well. I'm saying that. We know that you're here in this house. I'm calling out for Janet, for anybody here, to do something to Carl and Stuart upstairs. They don't mind being hurt. No. Or to do something to Glenn or Greg. <laughs> <laughs> but not to the lady, obviously. Not to me, I'm a lady. Mm, yeah, it's a lady. Uh, so if you could do something, that would be fantastic. And I'm speaking quietly because the car and Stuart upstairs. Yeah, we're going to contaminate her, yeah. This is that horrible room. Is there a window open in there? No. Well, where's that draft coming from? Where the hell is it coming from? It smells horrible. I mean, they're old, but. No, there's no. Doesn't make any sense that at all. I mean, there isn't. There's no gap in between there, is there, for it to come through? There's a bit of rainwater coming in the bottom, but there's no actual. Mhm. Mm and it, I mean, it made bloody well. I mean, look, this is when they knew how to make houses. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, without a doubt. Unless there's a hole somewhere that we can't see. Okay. Right, if you're here. We'd like to think you are. Come and do something to me. Throw me to the floor. Stuart or myself, that you're here. 
I'm going to leave the torch on in my back pocket just in case I need it for anything. All empty. What's it up, boys? Come on now. Well, while we're doing this and concentrating, if you want to make noises around us or touch one of us, knock on a cupboard. Come on. Is it shaking? Is it my imagination? It is rocking backwards and forwards yeah. ever so slightly. Come on now. Come on now. Move the table. Any good spirits here that wish to talk to us or communicate with us, then you move the table, make it vibrate. Make it vibrate, make it shake. Come on now. Or if you want to make a noise with your voice, do something to Carl and Stuart. Go on, you know you want to. Have a bit of a laugh, have some fun with us all. Come on, can you do something? Can you slam a door anywhere? Is this door here? But this, this is the thing, it had the energy and the audacity to push that door over, but now you're asking it, it's not doing it. I've never understood this. So therefore, if it's done it, it, you know, it shouldn't make any difference really if we're asking no. out. It should just do it. I just, just yeah, we think that. we haven't been in here that long, to be fair, on the grand scheme of things. And you, you actually think, well, not much has happened. We think, what? We've, we've had you, so much. We've had, a, we've had a hell of a lot. People do this stuff for years, Carl, and get nothing. I don't think anybody's really done this in this house, have they? So you're either mystified or angered <laughs> by it. <laughs> if you're angered by it, then show your anger. If you want us to leave, then get us out. <gasps> now, now, why would that do that all of a sudden? That felt like it twisted. Yeah. Yeah. Was that you showing you're angry? Still, still going, isn't it? Yeah. Come on, move the table some more. Can you move the bike that's on the end of the corridor? It's a little bicycle there. Very quiet, isn't it? Yeah. Move the table some more. Come on now. Come on. Do what you can. Use our energies. Move the table. Can you make it walk across the floor? Can you lift the table up in the sky, up in the, in the air? Come on now. Can you tilt it at me? Bash it into my leg? It's like it's ever so slightly swaying. Yeah, it is moving, yeah. yeah. Can you twist it clockwise or anti-clockwise? Oh, it's like it's pulsing. Can you copy me? Oh, it's moving now. Although none of us heard it at the time, there is a distant reply to my knocks. Can you copy me? Oh, it's moving now. When we announce the sound, you can hear three distinct taps. Can you copy me? Oh, it's moving now. Can you move it? Yeah, just take your hand off for a second. 
Check it all the way out. Now put your hand back on. I'm just trying to stick in my eye. If that just trying to take in yours. I'm just trying to work out whether it just yeah. might one of us yeah. on the table. I'm not hearing anything for you. Nothing. But that's that's okay, that's yeah. not a bad thing. How long is it, shall we? The bike's still there, that's not moved. There's a ball in between the wheels, that's not done anything. I'm not getting anything. No. Completely different energy, isn't it? I wonder if that was a witch we spoke to earlier. It's one of those things, Carl, we'll never know really, will we? No. We'll never know. It's just an old, probably an old wives' tale, isn't it? Well, you never know. Is it, it written down it? anywhere in any book, that story? Yeah, it's a true it story. It is? Yeah. Oh, but right, the okay. Thing is, witches weren't evil. They were just people that knew herbs and things. I, I'd imagine there were some evil witches, as there are evil witches now, but. 90% of witches are all good. It's interesting when it looks like an eye, what's the story behind yeah. that? There isn't one really. Oh, I thought there was something I was drawn on. to it. Yes. Come on. Oh, it's going. It's going. It? Come on. I'm leaning all my weight onto my right arm. Yeah. Come on, the camera cannot see this at all. So you need to make it much more violent. Yeah, we need it on one leg at least. Yeah, come on now. You make it flip towards that light box on that sink. Come on. As far as table tipping goes, it's not even tipping, it's not mm -hmm. even moving, so come on. We've, we've had better. It's annoying because we can feel it. It's just, oh, yeah. But it's so gentle. It's so gentle. I just felt, I feel really sorry for the witches of the day because they were just harmless women. Doing majority doing good stuff. Should we go downstairs? Right? Yeah. There's nothing at all. Mm -hmm. It's not quite as rich as you and I have ever had. What's happening? I know, I keep hearing that. There's something there, isn't it? Oh! I just looked up, looked down, and the whole table felt like it went over here, but it obviously didn't. As the activity seemed to be waning, we joined up again to see if we could connect with the spirits that haunt this old cottage. So unusual that Mr. Beatty's not in the mood for shenanigans. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Really? It's very quiet here. Yeah. 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 We're getting a little bit of Same shimmering. shimmering. Well, table table shimmering, I call it. Yeah. I think the best uh, uh, phenomenon we've had is the. the, the, the the door. The door. Yeah, so it's, we've, we've had a lot going on in a short time. We've had yeah. all those knocks, a conversation with what I thought we've had a conversation with. Yeah. Potentially, we've had a conversation with. A witch from 1612. Jen, yeah. Janet Preston, yeah. Who, who was hanged in what, 1612? Yeah. We've got, you know, whatever happened there was, you know, the, the, something come off almost crushing Stuart. I, I think we've had. I mean, it isn't going to last forever, though, is it? What? The, the activity. No, of course not. No. Absolutely. But I, it's funny because I, you always want more, and that's what that's what's the matter, Greg. Carl, just move. Forward and back. It's not you. What did you say? No, I saw something at the window, but... Oh, here we go again. The left-hand pane over there. There's nobody out in there, is there? No, there's no one out, and it's a nightmare to get into it. It's sort of like a trellis. You've got mesh. It's like yeah. steel reinforcing yeah. mesh that I had to guide my way around in order to get to the window. What did you see? I just saw a shape like someone walking up to the window and then they just it just disappeared. And then I thought, well, was, was it a reflection of Carl? And I was like, no, it wasn't. That's why I asked him to move. And then he wasn't there. Was that you, Janet? Was that you trying to show yourself at the window again? I wonder. She's on the outside looking in. She she said she didn't she 
she didn't want us here. Mm. No, she did want us here, didn't she? Oh, I can't remember actually. No. She didn't mind us being here, I think was yeah. the message. Right. I just wonder whether she's outside waiting for us to go before she comes back in. <laughs> well, there's, there's one thing we're not all mentioning, and we, we've noticed you're a little bit quiet and subdued. I'm knackered. I am. We, haven't, we haven't been here long, and I'm just... Drained. Totally I'm drained. Absolutely drained. Well, I am as well. Yeah, I'm I have to keep, I keep leaning on things. So. And I'm just wondering if our... Because the energy... Combined, you know, our energies combined has been drained. Yeah. But therefore, we're not getting as much activity as we normally would. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, but uh, you've got to think of we have had a lot. Oh yeah. We think we've had faces at windows. I know. The knocking and the tapping, the door. Yeah. yeah. The door. The yeah. knocking and the tapping. We've actually had a conversation with a dead witch. <laughs> you know, who, who 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 admitted she was bad. She was on the She's, dark side. Yeah, and she was a witch. And. Um, and wants a cut of your book. We had lots of some noises and stuff, you know, from different rooms. I mean, this has been this has been a plan, and on top of that, what was that shuffle? Flashing light just there, and there was like a. I heard the shuffle. Did yeah, you hear the shuffle. Yeah. I wasn't, it, wasn't, it was that. Yeah, I heard that. And then there was a flashing light. I didn't see the light. I was facing you at the time. No, there's nothing out there. There's no one coming down there because no, we're on a. No. There's a closed gate. I wonder if something's trying to draw us outside. Oh, that's, well, I think that's a chilling that thought, that. isn't it? It's way too cold for me to be outside. Yeah. <laughs> right, I think we've got it a day. I'm sorry, let's call it a day. Let's pack up and go before anything else bloody well happens. You sure? Yes, sure. I'm sure. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Right. Well, thank you. We're going now. Thank be, you. Be prepared for anything on the way yes. out, is all I'm going to say. I know. Jesus. Right, just give me a second to get all that shit. Let's look at that door. Right, phone check. Keep rolling all the way out, Steve. I'm going to, yeah. Don't throw that at me. <laughs> Although we thought this was the end of the investigation, we couldn't have been more wrong. When looking back at the locked off camera footage, we noticed some spikes in the audio. On closer inspection, we heard some of the strangest unexplained noises. We know that we were alone in the cottage and that makes what you're about to hear even more terrifying. I'm hearing tapping. No! <laughs> 
uncovered some of the chilling mystery of this dark place, there is still so much more hidden. Something is there waiting to be discovered, something malevolent, something dark, something terrifying that lurks within these ancient walls. Something that waits, waits until it will reveal itself. Until next time, sleep tight. Thank you.